Okay, my name is Sims Caboodle, and I am trying a Let's Play for the very first time. And I've decided to do a Legacy because I haven't done a Legacy in Sims 4 before, and I think it's a great way to really learn the game. I don't know the game as well as I've known its previous incantations, and I have been a big fan of The Sims since Sims 1, and have known a lot about all those different variations of the game, but I don't know a lot about Sims 4, so this is a way to learn more about it. Um, she's only my second family I've ever played, and she's the first sim I did design, though, and I designed her um, during the demo and kind of fell in love with her right away, and now I'm actually, I tweaked her a little bit, now I'm going to use her as my legacy founder, and her name is Garland Pettigrew. Um, she's a young adult, as you can see, as per the legacy challenge guidelines. I have made her love the outdoors because I feel like that is essential right now because she's going to be pretty much living outdoors. So this will add, add some good moods to her day, I think, by being outside. And then we've got family-oriented because that's a great trait to pass along. And since some of the traits are in a pool to be passed along to the next generation, I wanted that to be an option because that's a really good one. And so, so is creative. And I think creative is going to be great if we make her a painter because that's a really great way to start making money in the game but I'm kind of going to try an unconventional approach I don't think I'm going to get her a job I think I'm going to just make her a collector and she's just going to collect things and that's just going to be what we do with her because I've made her a curator and she wants to collect 10 collectibles now I should say where I'm at here I did not I have been playing for about 15 minutes I recorded it but unfortunately the resolution was crazy so I was trying to get this all worked out the technical aspects so now I'm like 10 minutes in and I figure I might as well just go from here because it, all legacy challenges start very similarly and this is just kind of 10 minutes in so what she has done is she's a curator she's already collected 9 out of 10 collectibles I do have in her inventory um, I had sold one gem that she had collected and I had sold the guppy that she had fished and she's got 147 simoleons left. Um, I have purchased her the main items that she has back at her house. Uh, just the very basics. Fridge, counter, toilet, shower, and bed. Um, and so she's got all of that back home. So that's why we started with 80 simoleons, basically, once we bought those things. So now we're at 147. Um, she collected these frogs. She bred the frogs once, and so she has two leopard frogs. I'm really excited about the start of this and that's why I didn't want to restart it because a rare frog, well it doesn't say it's rare but it's 100, 100 simoleons so this is a big deal so I wanted to keep these frogs and so she can keep breeding them. And then she got this rare uh, gem as well so I mean these are all things that she can kind of start her life with so I wanted to keep them. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, there's not too too much you know started I haven't really done a lot of conversing although she already doesn't like Alexis because they had an awkward conversation while playing chess um, so these are just some people that she's kind of met since she's been here she hasn't met that many um, to show you where her skills are at here she did play chess so she uh, had one in chess and she did pick a snapdragon I guess that gave her one in gardening I I think that just means as soon as you do something you get one in it so she picked a snapdragon she got that and then um, she cooked a little bit on the grill to make herself some dinner some lunch which she didn't eat obviously because here she is not having eaten and then um, and then she fished to get those minnows and that minnow and guppy so I have her food oh here it is she needs to eat this we need to have her eat this. I'm going to run her over there. She's already completed the first milestone. See, that's a big deal. The curator thing is the best, I think, the best aspiration you can pick for her to begin with if you're going to do this legacy challenge because you have to pick up stuff anyway. It's your only way of making money in the beginning. And it's way more profitable than going to a job. I don't think jobs are really that worth it a lot of the time. So, here she is, looking super cute, Garland Pettigrew. 
thinking about her life and what's going to happen from here. Um, I'm going to rectify her bladder need after she's done with this. But let's have a look around at who we've got in town here. We've got Isaac Steele. He's kind of a handsome dude. Don't see a wedding ring on his hand. Um, oh, and he's really cute too. Steven Bonilla. The other thing too is I do have a Sim Tumblr. It's um, it's Sims Caboodle on Tumblr as well. And I would really love if you guys had uh, Sims to add to the game to add to the gene pool. I would really love that. Um, I know that the rules started off with the Legacy Challenge, but you couldn't actually have Sims from the exchange be part of your uh, genetic pool kind of thing or part of your legacy. But they've changed that now because I understand it that it's very hard. Like the pool, the towny pool becomes really repetitive. And so it just adds some dimension to the game. So I would love to download your Sims. I have downloaded a bunch of Legacy Loves from the hashtag Legacy Loves on the community because that's some of the Sims that were suggested. Basically, I, as I understand the rule to be, and I'm going to follow it this way, is that you don't want a Sim that already has skills when you marry them in so or money so that's fine and I guess you you remove their money if they do bring money so that's okay I'm fine with that um so I am going to probably be introducing a bunch more sims into the neighborhood and I will do that at a later date um probably after I finish recording this maybe later but anyway so yeah that's kind of this is a really basic start to the legacy it's going to be kind of short um but I don't really want to get into too much. Uh, what I do want to do is I'm going to send her home so that you can see her home and you'll be able to see her the lot that she lives on because it just looks like every other legacy lot. But just so you can see that I have started it in the way that uh, the legacy challenges do start. So sh here she is with all these tutorials um, here she is on her home lot, which is the big giant empty lot in the town. And this is what I purchased her. So I got her a bed because obviously that's a huge thing and we can't really have her sleeping on benches. So, uh, here she can make food and she can use her shower and I kind of hid her, her toilet so she can have some modesty behind there, though I think she would still be upset if somebody were over and she was like behind the shower peeing so we're gonna try to avoid those awkward situations but anyway yeah this is where she this is her home humble abode so far so she's really you know jazzed about this whole life I think she's excited about the fact that she already finished the first stage of her curator aspiration see look at these she wants to just gather crystals, frogs, fossils. This is all stuff that is going to be really easy to complete. She also has some inkling to have an instrument, so I'm going to try to work on getting her some create, creative outlets later, um, which I think will really be awesome. Oh my gosh, it's already 9 p.m. So... I should probably pause this so she's not losing time. But anyway, so yeah, that's where, what it's going to be like. I don't know whether I'm going to play out the entire legacy on video or whether I'm going to just like skip ahead a couple days and like give you updates. I think it could be boring to just go through the same thing over and over. I don't know. So leave me comments and let me know what you think if you'd like to see all of it on here, like all of it all the time, or if you'd rather me just skip ahead and whenever something exciting happens show that instead so but anyway so that is that's it that's the start of this legacy challenge with garland pettigrew and i look forward to doing more of them thank you for watching